With the Thanksgiving travel rush less than 48 hours away now, transportation officials are pleading with Americans to go along with those new security measures at the airport. But adding fuel to the fire, this video making waves on the Internet shows a young boy without his shirt on being patted down at Salt Lake International Airport. The TSA said in a statement that the boy's father removed his son's shirt in order to speed up the screening process. A screening process that you can expect to see at Austin's airport. And our Jared Wise joins us live from ABIA with more. Jared? Well, Leslie, we're told a small number of passengers have already gone through that enhanced pat down here at ABIA since the TSA started the pr procedure last month. And those are mainly for medical related issues. Now, the airport does not have full body scanners, they only have the metal detectors. And we're told the pat downs are a last resort if the alarms keep going off. Now, we're told the procedure is that you'll go through the main metal detector a few times. If the problem cannot be resolved, you'll be taken aside and a secondary screening with a wand will take place. Now, you if you don't pass that secondary screening, other means will be taken into consideration. So only if all other, once all other means are exhausted as a final means of resolving what warning may be going off, we receive the enhanced pat down here at Austin's airport. And we're told today the Secretary of Homeland Security announced that they will have no they have no reason to change that enhanced pat-down procedure at this time. Now, just to give you an idea of how sensitive this topic is, we spoke to a few people here at the airport about those pat-downs to gauge kind of how they felt. Many were too embarrassed to even talk about it on camera. Now, I did speak with some parents here with their kids, and they seem to be the most emotional with the new procedure, especially with the recent video of that young boy. Now, if, you're, if you were to refuse the enhanced pat-down, you would not be able to get into the secure area or board your flight. So far, there have been no major incidents here at ABIA. Now, no, now, when it comes to the holiday crowds, we're told that they'll start pouring in tomorrow and the wait times could be up to an hour. So they want to make sure that you get down here about 90 minutes before your flight. That's again, starting tomorrow through the holiday weekend. Reporting live at ABIA, Jared Wise, KXN, Austin News.